that's what I need. I need a tortoise shell mushroom lamp. That's what my bedroom needs. It's Matt and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited to make a vision of mine come to life. I have had this idea cooking in my brain for weeks and I can't wait to make it into a reality. I am beyond excited to share this with you. I wanted to start where I started. So, I was scrolling on YouTube late at night one night, I couldn't sleep and I was way back and I saw this video from a few months ago that I somehow missed from the Sorry Girls, Becky. She had made this mushroom lamp and she spray painted it orange and it, she lit it up and oh, it was so good. She used a mixing bowl and a vase and I went, ooh, ooh, I could do that. I, that, that seems easy and that seems fun and that would look so cute in my bedroom. I have the perfect spot for it and then still couldn't sleep, was still on YouTube. And I watched Susie from Nail Career Education do tortoise shell print nails. And I went, oh yeah, that's what I need. I need a tortoise shell mushroom lamp. That's what my bedroom needs. And we're gonna make one today. Before we can make this project, we do need to pick up a few things from the thrift store. So let's go there. Oh, this is good. I feel like that's really good. That's a good size, I feel. This is the bottom. I like this guy too for some reason. A little shorty. Secured the good. I went a little overboard, decided that we're gonna do three lamps, and that is the plan now. Very excited for what I've got in here. It's gonna be so cute. I have this vision, I have a vision, okay, of a little mushroom family that gets to live on the bedside table, and they are gonna be so cute and happy and lovely so let's get these cleaned up and go from there so we're going to make sure i clean the glass really thoroughly so that i don't have any marks or anything on the inside and i'm able to get a nice clean even finish and for these gunky goo residue of the stickers, I just spray on some Windex and give it a good old scrub with a microfiber cloth. You could totally do it with paper towel. It's just what I had in the house. And you might have to do it a couple of times like I have to here with this larger chunk, but it will rub right off and it won't leave any residue left on the glass. And it's super simple. You don't have to soak it or anything. And I found that that gets it off right away. Okay. So now that everything's clean and everything is prepped for paint, we are going to start with the tortoise shell because that's gonna take the longest. Spray paint bits could be done later. I'm gonna put these larger ones aside because they're gonna need to be taped off. I'm also gonna put the baby one aside for how we tortoise shell these two pieces. And my plan is to attack this 
In the same way that you would do the nail art version of the tortoise shell, I'm going to use acrylic paint, Mod Podge, and some water and distressed uh, old paintbrushes I have to make this pattern. So let me get that all set up and we'll go over the mixing and the proportions and how we're going to get it all there. So pretty comparable to how you would do this on nails, you're going to start with your lightest color first. So I'm mixing mostly yellow with a little bit of red here with water and eventually some Mod Podge to get the hue that I'm after. I'm going for a much lighter, you see that I do add some yellow. I'm happy with this so I move on. Now I want to get a nice thin layer of this wash color I've made so that I can add some warmth and depth to the glass. After cleaning up any drips, I'm going to make sure I'm able to dry this well. I am curing it for 2 minutes and 30 seconds using my blow dryer. Going in with that original color I mixed, I'm just going to make splotches all over this going in a diagonal direction as my first layer. You can see as we go, I start to mix darker versions of every color, slowly adding more brown and less yellow so that I'm able to deepen this up. Making sure that these dots have defined edges, but I'm also not going over every single one in its entirety from the layer I did before so that you get that fuzzy, blurred edge so it looks a little more natural and not like totally precise dots and for each layer i am doing a couple random ones of just that shade on that one layer so that you get that easier more natural look Every time I put that glaze on there, it just looks so delicious. At this point, I'm using almost all black with a little bit of brown to keep it warm. I don't want to put direct black on it until my final layer. Going in with that final layer of black to really make sure I'm getting darkness in the glass as it would in normal tortoise shell. I think it adds a lot of character. Okay, she's turning out way better than I expected. I was not expecting her to be looking this good. So at this point, I'm at quite a few layers. I did two layers of every color and then I've done a final layer of black which is pure black paint acrylic on the dots to make them a little more defined and then a watered down black final layer just to give it an extra darkness. So now what I'm gonna do is water down some Mod Podge to then make a really nice even coat on this and I might put a layer of white on the inside to kind of increase the opacity so that I'm able to get a more diffused light through the lamp at the end of the day. I need to light the whole room. I want these on at night. More mood lighting, turn the big light off. I can't stand having that overhead lighting at night. So something that could just light up a little bit, but with the three of them, I, th I think it's gonna work out great. And I will work through doing the bottom. And I'll just show you a super sped up version of me working on this. I'm not gonna take you through all the steps again, because I think you get what we mean. We can get the other ones ready to go be spray painted, and then we can put them all together and see what it looks like. Woo! Okay. I do want to say this took me about four and a half, almost five hours in total to do. In total, I did two layers for each color. 
I made five different colors plus the black layer and the black just got one coat. So it's the next day and the tortoise shell has totally cured. Hi Minx. Has totally cured and is ready to go. I did end up putting that cream layer on the inside, like an off-white, just put a little bit of orange and yellow <laughs> into some white with some Mod Podge and put that on the inside. And it did increase the, ooh, ooh, the opacity of the vases so that when the light shines through, it looks more like an amber glass and less like harsh, which I really like. So I'm gonna keep that drying and we are going to essentially follow the Sword Girls tutorial that Becky did. I'm going to tape and cover the outside of the glass so that none of the spray paint gets there. And I'm just gonna go over and over with super thin layers of spray paint and trust the process so that I get a really even coat without any drips. I really loved how Becky's turned out. So I'm gonna follow her tutorial pretty exactly. And then we can install the puck lights that I have. And then we are able to style them and see them in their final form. I am, oh, oh, she's gonna be so cute. Should we name them? beyond proud of myself for this. Can't believe I made this dream a real thing. I did halfway through this project go on the internet and see if this existed and it does. You can find tortoiseshell, leopard print, lamps that exist and they're going for like $80 and up. The fact that I spent six bucks and got this little guy, I love him. I did it and she's really cute. And I'm gonna be really proud to have her in my home. The mason jar for the small one worked so well. The hardest part for sure was trusting the process of getting the texture down for the tortoise shell. You kind of start to go, Whoa, what's going on here? Doing it in layers and going with your gut and maybe going back and referencing a picture that of a pattern that you like really makes a difference. Doing it on an angle creates the illusion that it is tortoiseshell glass. And I'm very, very pleased with the outcome. I post a new video every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye! If you like the video, give it a like and comment what you would want to see tortoiseshell pattern on next. I have a few ideas of different textures we could do on glass to make more fun projects. And if you want to see more fun DIY fever dream mashups, please subscribe to this channel. Matilda, Connor, Carly.